Right, getting well stuck into the build on this Hilux, mate. Loads of stuff's come out of it. We've got all the dash up on the back. We've got parts of the engine base, the blower motor, the windscreens here. It's all over the place. And trust me, I am going to clean it up, honest. So interior wise, stripped everything out from inside. Um, and still, I remain to be really happy about the amount of corrosion that's in this chassis. It's really good and in the body. Um, took the windscreens out. Unfortunately, I did find a bit of corrosion up there on the top and here at the bottom of the A-pillar. But nothing we can't sort out or handle. Um, under the bonnet, stripped out the engine bay. Unfortunately, there is, a, there is a bit of corrosion underneath the battery. But again, we'll sort that out. Uh, all the wings are off, the grill, the bumpers. So this is all really to get into the point where we can lift the cab off the chassis, uh, send, the, send the body off to be for paint, and rust-proof the chassis. It's going to be great. Got a bit excited, a bit carried away. If you remember, last time you see us, the cab was still on the chassis. Since then, I've been right cracking on. I've been going around the vehicle, cutting out all the rot and corrosion. Now, there wasn't loads of it, but the main part was at the top of the windscreen there. I had to cut that out plate it up, scurf it down, and just give it a little coat of primer just to protect it. I've got a little spot here at the bottom of the, uh, the drive, driver's A-pillar. I'm just going to patch that up. And mate, somebody puts some Mitsubishi seats in this Toyota Hilux. That's sacrilege, man. And to do so, they drilled bloody great holes in the floor. So I've had to patch those up, scurf them down, and then, and then it's ready. Listen, to do this, I've been using some really basic tools, a little MIG welder, and some gasless core wire. Once this process is complete, we'll be moving on and prepping the car to be painted. All right, so once that's done, it's ready for its final coat of paint. Now I've got mates that are auto body painters, but once this thing's been through the bush, it's gonna have bush pinstripes up the side of it, and I wanna be able to patch it up myself. So I've decided to paint it myself. I'll tell you what, I'm using some nice cheap spray cans. I'm not even using a, a spray gun. So yeah, let's get on and do it. Right, we've sealed all the seams with seam sealer. We've used the under stone guard underneath the vehicle, in the engine bay, and in the cab. Now what I'm doing, I'm spraying the inside of the vehicle and under the bonnet first, just because we're going to get overspray on the smooth surfaces. So once I've done that, I can flatten off, wet and dry these smooth surfaces and give them a nice coat of enamel. Right, I'm getting a bit excited now. Right, we've got the, the cabs painted, sealed, weatherproofed. I've got the windscreen guys coming to put the screen in the front and the rear screen in that. I've rust proofed and, and converted the chassis and now that is ready for a coat of paint. I'm going to spruce up the engine, give it a little lick of paint, uh, new rocker cover gasket, things like that. And then the cab is ready to go on the chassis and that's where it gets interesting. Right now one of the only problems we found on this chassis was in the, around the midsection on the driver's side, there was a bit of corrosion on one of the cross members. So what I've done, I've cut all that out, made up a shaped mild steel plate and welded it in place. Right, welding's all done. Painted the chassis. We're at the stage now where we're going to get a cab and get it back on the chassis. But first, we're going to spruce up the engine and box so they look good when they come together. Look, at this stage, it's long, it's drawn out. You know, we want to get onto the fun stuff. But if you get this stage right, there's no reason why this truck can't last for years to come. Now, look, I'd just like to say thanks to the guys at the Bush Company for, for letting me use their space. It's been awesome. And catch us next week when we have another episode and see how we're getting on. Yeah.